Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Julie, aka Joe's Life. For today's video, I will be talking about my paranormal experience. So, my first paranormal. Guys, I am sorry, I don't know why it's moving. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Julie, aka Joe's Life. For today's video, I will be talking about my paranormal experience. Experience. I will try to get into detail as much as I can because I do not have any footage of it So I actually still live at the same apartments that this happened at um, I currently live like three apartments down from it pretty much because My sister had a baby so we had to move because that was just a one-bedroom apartment So yeah, I'm just trying to tell you guys like a little background story of the apartment even though I don't really know much of it. I tried finding history of it online, but there was nothing much. Yeah, we moved in the we moved into that apartment when I was probably like a month old or so. And um from what I can remember, nothing had ever happened to me till I was four or five years old. So we were all sleeping and I randomly woke up to like knocking under my bed. So like the way our our bedroom was built was like so we had like two beds, two bunk beds, and in between that we had like wood tiles or whatever. Like it was like wood pretty much and that was my bed. And on top of it we had like soft fabric so that it wouldn't be like too So hard. the bed wasn't really stable, like you could still pretty much move the wood. So I woke up to knocking under my bed and I could like literally feel the bed moving. And I actually thought it was my brother because at the time he would always freaking be playing jokes on me. Like he would always be like, oh... El Cucuy or La Llorona or Los Gemelos. Like he made up this thing about Los Gemelos or whatever. So I thought it was him and I didn't think much much of it. So I tried going back to sleep but then I felt um, the movement again. And after that I looked under my bed and I could, I swear to you guys, I know you guys probably think I'm lying about it but I swear. I saw like some glowing red eyes. <laughs> It was I you couldn't even see the face but you could just see like some two red dots and I know you guys are probably thinking like oh it was probably a toy or something at the time I thought it was a toy but I looked for it again the next morning and it wasn't there and the scarier thing was that when I checked after I saw that I looked for my brother or my sisters to see if any of them were playing with me or something but no they were all asleep my parents were both asleep so whatever that was, I literally do not know what it was because I never saw it again. Yeah, so that was my first experience and nothing happened to me again for like a couple of years until I got my first laptop. So I, as a kid, I really, I was always into making like videos. I always wanted to have a YouTube channel. So me and my old best friend, we were always making YouTube videos and stuff and I, wanted to i had told her that i wanted to like make a singing video so i was looking for songs and stuff and i was just home alone at the time and i was looking for singing videos and i really needed to use the restroom so i paused my music and i went to the restroom and while i was using the restroom the music suddenly started playing like it started blasting i had it like pretty low or whatever like it was at a good volume and when I got to the restroom, it started playing. Like, I don't know, I don't know if I was going crazy or something, but I literally heard like the keyboard press. Like, I heard it, it press play, and the music started going loud and louder and louder and louder. So I rushed out of the restroom to pause the music, and it would not stop. Like, it would literally keep. I took out the battery, and finally, it stopped. Thankfully, it didn't keep playing because the hell no, I would have for sure blessed that house, called the priest up in there because mm mm. That ain't no freaking ghost. After that happened, I started being more scared of the apartment. Like, I don't know. But, oh, the thing is, also, guys, we all felt like it, you could literally feel a presence in the apartment. Like, you did, it didn't feel like you were alone. You could literally feel like if you were being watched. So that happened. And after the whole music played or whatever, nothing happened until three years later when i was in fifth grade 
I had came home from school and so usually I would come home before all of my siblings and I would stay at home alone for like 20 minutes or so and then my sister would come home and then my brother would come home and so I was home alone and I had gone to I don't know what was up with that ghost but every time I went to use the restroom I wanted to do something like I probably wanted to get me when I had my freaking pants down so I couldn't run or something What's up your pants faggot? Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, so I had came home from school and I went to the restroom and randomly I heard knocking like you could literally hear like like a knock and I was like oh I'm using the restroom hold on and then it, I heard again like and I was like, hold on, I'm using the restroom. And then it got a little louder. And I was like, oh my God, hold on, I'm using the restroom. And it got louder and louder. And then I got so irritated. So I was like, oh my, I'm using the restroom. Like, could you guys not hear me? Like, could you guys stop knocking? And I don't know if I scared the ghost or something, but the door, the doorknob literally started shaking and it started knocking even louder and louder. So I was like, okay. And honestly, I didn't think it was a ghost. I thought it was my siblings. I just thought like they had gotten home earlier. But as soon as I got out of the restroom, I went to look. I literally went to look for them under everything. I looked under the bed. I looked in the closet. I looked inside the cabinet because we had like a pretty big cabinet where I could fit in. So I thought my brother or my sister were in there. So I looked in there. I went to go check in the kitchen. And they were nowhere to be found. It's passed by or so. And my sister comes home. And I look at her and I'm just like terrified. And she's like, what happened? And I was like, please tell me you were here earlier. And she was like, no, I wasn't here. Like, I just got home. Like, I always get home like minutes after you. You already know it was Julie. And I was just like, I know, but I was in the restroom and someone kept knocking. And I told you guys to stop and you guys didn't keep, you guys didn't stop. And she was like, no, it was probably Oswaldo. So that's my brother's name, whatever. She was like, it was probably Oswaldo. And I was just like, like, oh, like, okay. Like, it probably was. And then he got home and I asked him about it. And he was like, no, I wouldn't even go home, weirdo. And I was like, what the hell? Like, dude, someone was freaking knocking the restroom. And after that, like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but after that, all like after that whole thing happened, I literally felt like I, there was someone with me at, at all times in that apartment. Like I couldn't be there alone. I was just so scared. So it got like it got to the point where I wouldn't even come home at, right after school. I would literally go to my friend's house because she lived right above me, and if not, I would just stay outside and I would be doing my homework out there or something like I would literally avoid coming into my apartment and um my mom and my sister didn't believe me at the time like they would tell me like oh you can't be going out without letting us know where you are because I didn't have a phone you know like I was like six so this was like back in 2009 I mean no I'm not six I was like eight so it was like back to 2009 and yeah, so I didn't have a phone to tell them where I was at. They, they started getting annoyed over it and they're like, oh, you're just using it, using it as an excuse to go out. And I was like, no, like there's literally something scaring me. And it pissed me off because it was literally just me. Like, I don't know if it, it was because I was the youngest there, but it was literally only happening to me. For a couple of years, nothing happened. But something that did always occur that was really weird to me was that we always heard like a clicking sound like it only happened at night or when i was alone so like if my parents were there i wouldn't hear it and if it was nighttime we'd hear it so like i don't know how to explain it to you guys like during the daytime i would hear it if i was alone but if my parents or someone somebody else was around it wouldn't be like heard but during the nighttime me and my siblings were able to hear it and stuff so we we're just like what the heck and we never found out what the sound was um but yeah so then we ended up moving from that apartment and we moved into another apartment which is this one that i am in nothing happened for the first couple of years until last year when um my boyfriend had slept over because we had gone to nods and it was pretty late and he lives in Font he lives in Fontana, so that was way too far for him to drive over there. It was like an hour drive or so. So we had my I had asked my mom if he could sleep over, and 
so he was sleeping on my bed and I was sleeping on the couch we randomly like heard footsteps and we thought it was my mom because we were texting each other and we thought it was my mom so we didn't want her to know that we were awake because we don't want her to think anything of it like we don't want her to be like oh Julie come to the room because you guys are doing stuff so we were just like oh like act like you're going act like you're sleeping so we were acting like we were sleeping and he told me that he saw my mom well not my mom but he saw a figure walking towards like the hallway where we were at and it just stood, stood there like watching us and then it walked like like he turned around so he didn't see where it went and he texted me and he was like oh shoot like i think she caught us so we didn't think much of it like we didn't think it was a, a ghost or anything until i told him that i never heard the door open because where 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 we live it's pretty chapa guys like the doors are hella loud like we'll announce that we're opening the door literally any door that you open you'll know that it's being open and we know the sound of each um bedroom and restroom where so, like i didn't hear the bedroom door open and he was like oh maybe it was um maybe it was open the whole time and i was like no i just came from the restroom and it was closed and he was like what the hell like i legit saw someone standing there like for a while just watching and then um he was like but the weird thing is that i didn't see the face so like you could literally just see the figure or whatever and after that i was like dude like stop playing with me i probably thought he was joking but no i know when he's joking and i know when he's not um but i can't say what he saw because i didn't see myself after that happened um i started like i don't know i started feeling the same thing that i felt in the other apartment like i still feel it at times in the nighttime but like every time i'm alone like i could literally feel i literally feel like somebody's in the other room and you could hear movement or like you're being watched and there was a time this happened like two weeks ago so like two weeks ago um i was sleeping and because sometimes my mom she either sleeps in the room or she sleeps in the living room with me because my bedroom is in the living room pretty much and she i thought she was sleeping in the living room because I could hear someone like breathing loudly and like I heard like crying like I could hear crying guys and I was like mom like are you okay and then um she wasn't answering me so I was like mom mom can, can you pick me up I'm scared and then I got every time I see mom like you could hear those sniffles like like and it would get like a little quieter like you could tell like they were trying to like calm themselves down and I was like mom and she didn't answer me so so I went to go check and nobody was even in the living room so I was like what the fuck after I saw that nobody was in the living room I went to go check the, I went to go check and see if like anybody else was awake I know guys nobody was freaking awake so I was the only one awake and I don't know if I'm going crazy or if I'm just like I don't know if it's haunting just me but so that's my paranormal experience guys if anything else happens i'll make another video about it hopefully nothing else happens because i ain't trying to deal with no ghosts or nothing like that but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it didn't bore you guys i was trying to give you guys so much detail about it but i was a kid so i don't remember everything but yeah guys let me just tell you that it's for real and i'm not playing i'm not do i'm not say making this up just to have a little story time for you guys no this really happened but yeah if you guys have any story times any scary if you guys have any scary stories please comment down below and i'll be making a video of that too um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And also, don't forget to turn on your notification button. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Boy, if you don't get. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.